Yo, what is up everyone and welcome back to another YouTube video with your host Ken Kukin and today we got another Destiny 2 Raid for Dummies video for King's Fall Raid on Destiny 2. Now we're going to cover, we're at the totems again, this is the part where we cover, if you're running two runners, now you can run three and you know every time you would deposit at the plate you would run up, kill a witch, kill a knight, grab the brand claimer buff that drops and then run your teammates and you can have all three people rotate but I personally really like the two-man strat with two people in the middle killing the o unstoppable ogre, the witches, and the knight. So here we go. Let me go ahead and play the video. Um, this one will definitely be less than five minutes to make up for those other videos. So I'm running a warlock now. Um, I'm running Aeon Swift right. Gauntlets. If you, mm. Oh, let me mute the... Uh, give me one second. All right, and we're back. I meant to mute the clip. That way I could just talk over it. So I'm running the Aeon Gauntlets. Now each... Class has Aeon gauntlets of some type, Aeon something, right? What these do is you can go into these, you can inspect these gauntlets, right? And you, there's a unique buff to each one. There's a unique, uh, uh, yeah, there's a unique mod for each one, right? It comes in a set of three. Now you can set the mod to where when you kill mini bosses and bosses with a finisher, you generate heavy ammo for your team, not for yourself, but for your team. The right side that you watched in the previous video, if you haven't watched it, um, you know, link in the description below. Uh, the right side gets more ads than the left side. Don't know why. It just seems like it always does. So generating heavy to allow them to just plow through that side of the room with heavy and get like 20 to 25 stacks is pretty good. Also, the more stacks you get, the longer it takes for you to get back to your team. So if you're having a tough time getting the uh, getting the brand back and forth between the runners, if you're doing the two-man strat, try to keep the stacks around 15, right? Keep it around 15 stacks. Try not to go over, but then you, you run the risk of more ads and you can't survive. So now, you know, you got... See, you, you... Everything should be fine if everything's running smooth. So let me go ahead and get this video started. Let me fast forward a little bit. Boom. So... When the raid starts, there's going to be, I'm going to stand up here on the top right, and there's a top left. Now, the second runner that would be switching off with the first runner should be up on the top right or left side of the room, waiting to grab the brand claimer, right? We go ahead and fast forward a little bit more. There we go. The witch comes out of this door. Now, you'll see it multiple times because I'll let the video play out the rest of the way. Witch comes out. I shoot it with my primary, very weak. I kill it. Um, This knight comes out. Now, for me to finish it, I was using... I was using a, my fusion rifle from Trials, and then the you know the brand claimer just grabs the stuff and runs off, and I just chill and wait. You know, sometimes I'll help out the guy across from me that's killing their witches and knights, and I'll you know, but other times I will just be like looking here or killing the ogre, right? So a fusion grenade on the warlock double explosion will one shot that knight. It actually does more damage. So if if you don't want to finish your knight because you don't want to run aeons and you just want to like one shot it. You can run double fusion nades, and on the Warlock, you can run the aspect that makes your your fusion grenades explode, and then kill it like that. Now, I killed that witch thinking that the ogre was coming out way sooner than I thought, and I'm also running well. Um, And I killed that knight thinking the ogre was coming out way sooner than I thought. But the ogre will be here. It's going to come out of that puddle on the ground. And once again, you it's an unstoppable ogre. You want to un you want to stop it with an unstoppable mod that you would put on your gauntlets. People that run more PvE than me probably already know this, right? However, this ogre, because it comes out of, out of a puddle of water, or whatever you want to call that, you need to make sure that his feet is on the ground before you stun it. If you stun it and it's still in the process of spawning, it will not stun. It'll just continue to run to the middle plate where people are getting rid of their stacks to open the door and start killing, right? So feet are on the ground. There we go. We got a stunned. And now after a stun, it's going to deal a lot more damage. It's the boss of the room. Um, now, the timing of the witches is not random, and it's not on a set time frame. The witches spawn every time the runner runs down there and they trade the buff between each other. That's when the witch spawns. So when whoever's running on your side, as soon as they grab... The, I'm inspecting. I'm like, why am I not dropping... He oh, I didn't have Unstoppable on. Okay, I also didn't realize for a long time uh, during this raid, during these raids, I'm like, why am I not getting heavy? It doesn't generate heavy for me. So, um, the witches come out when as, as soon as they trade the buff between each other. That's when the witch comes out. So when your runner runs up and grabs the uh grabs the claim, 
the brand claimer from up here, your witch is going to follow soon because they're about to trade that buff. Now we've hit the five minute mark. I knew I was going to be a liar in this. I apologize, but this is it. This is all you got to do. We're going to go ahead and let the video play out. Uh, once again, you know, the wizard is very weak. Um, I use heavy when I have it to spare. I use two fusion shots and a melee, usually on the night, followed by a finisher. Now I wanted to kill that night because the ogre was out. I wanted to kill it quickly, so I shot three fusion shots. If I wanted to kill it the fastest, I would have thrown a fusion grenade and looked away, which, you know, runs does run the risk that the knight might survive, but it hasn't yet from the warlock build with uh the fusion nade killing him. Or I could have shot a Galahorn or not or my heavy, right? Which I, I would recommend a rocket of some type. I could have shot a rocket and really finished that night off. But I like to shoot two fusions, melee, and my teammate came up and killed it, and then finish them, right? And now I'm generating heavy for my teammates. So and the witch comes out. Whenever I'm panicking on the witch, um I try to just one shot him with the fusion. Also, if you I like to shoot the witch from the side. Uh once I think after this video I recorded when I when I ran this position with my team, I tried to shoot it from the side of the door. That way it doesn't stumble back into the door and I can't kill it. Um unless I'm lucky enough that I can finish it. My teammate came across. The other person killing the wi wizard and knight came across looking for heavy right. Uh and that's it. Like once again, you know, there's not much else to say. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward the video. Do 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 do. I hope you like the sound effects. Boom, we're done. Your job is just as simple as that. Is it the most glamorous and entertaining? No, but again, this strategy is very very simple for everyone to do. I personally like it that way. The brand is always on the ground, and people are always in the middle to try and take care of that ogre. But once again, if you like the video. Leave a thumbs up on the video. Let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions, concerns. Link in the description below for my stream over on Twitch. I'm running raid helps all the time. It's 5.44 in the morning. I'm recording these videos. And I, uh, when I get done recording, and I'm going to upload all of them at the same time um, with like, you know, a spacing of like 30 minutes apart. Uh, so they're all going to be out today. So if you found one, the rest of the parts are here on my channel. They'll be in a raid, a raid guide dummy wherever I got it. Anyway, you'll find it. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Come over to the live stream if you need some help. Later.